What's going on, everybody? I am back out here with the sea -Doo again. Taking a break from some other video editing just to do like a quick cell phone video. Pulled the battery today. I was going to do the winterization that they do on Today We Wrench. Um, like the full one, like where your engine's running and all that. But I'm having issues with this desk post, I believe. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do the running uh winterization technique i got to do the non-running one where you have to like pull this temperature sensor pour in some uh uh rv antifreeze and then um you know fog it manually spin the motor and all that uh if you follow today we wrench which you should be uh if you're into these jet skis they go through like a super detailed uh winterization and maintenance video is super helpful and i definitely encourage anybody to check them out and subscribe to their channel as well um it's super informative and uh yeah i mean those guys are awesome uh, as a matter of fact i am sending my mpem out because we don't have another key to get this working and we don't have a desk post right now so i'm gonna have two keys made and he's gonna send me a desk post so I gotta send this MPEM out. I'm just gonna kill all the birds, right? New keys, so I don't have to worry about it. I only have one anyway, and it's kind of a piece of junk. So it's that old one, it's got a rope, it doesn't have the cord anymore like it should. Um, yeah. So we're just we're just gonna fix all of the issues in one shot. Um, I was gonna jump to starter, but like I said, this thing's been starting fine. It just started to do that thing where the key doesn't wanna work. Uh, it'll get the two beeps, but it won't click. It won't start. So the start button might need to be replaced too. So we'll definitely be ordering one of those and then the covers. So, but just so you guys know, that's kind of what I'm fighting right now. Just little, little things. But yeah, the MPEM, super easy to pull. If you guys want to see, battery's out, super easy to pull. I mean, these are like five minute jobs to do. <clears throat> Not even. Battery takes like 30 seconds to yank. And then this didn't take too long to pull either, but I'm sure you guys can already see the problem I have with the desk system here. This here is no good. No bueno. We don't use butt connectors on the sea dues. We don't do that. I mean, they look like they're shrink wrap, but still. This one looks like it's the wrong post. It's got like an extra wire on it going to the desk post. You know, not to the harness. So, I think it's the wrong one. I think that's the biggest part of the issue. Um, yeah. So, that's kind of the issue that I'm having right now. Like, we'll put the key on and it'll work sometimes. And you take the key off, put the key on. Normal sea do stuff with, with these kind of things. But I'm just kind of tired of it. So, I figured we'll just replace everything that's involved with the key system to brand new. It's not super expensive. So, um yeah, that'll, that'll be extremely helpful. Hopefully that means that we can get back on the water. No problems next year. We'll just put the key on and it'll work. I'm also going to focus on this as well. That is the fuel sender. So that's what sends your fuel gauge an ohm reading that will tell you what your fuel level is at. So that's that. I'm going to fix that, obviously. I believe the magnet fell off the float. That's kind of common because I get the bars, but... The bars go all the way down as soon as it starts up and says there's no fuel in the system. So that tells me that the gauge probably works, but the float is probably bad. So, and if not, if that's not the case, then I have to do that F1 fuse. And then I'll just have to show you guys how that one works because it's hard to explain. You have to solder where that fuse is. It's like really, really teeny tiny fuse. It's like on a board. You just solder the whole thing together. But um, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, pretty easy to do. See, that's where the MPEM is right there underneath where the butt connectors are. That's where it sits. It takes like five seconds to pull that thing. You just undo the wires, undo the one clip on the front, and it just pulls right out. So, yeah, <clears throat> pretty simple. Not too much to it, but yeah, overall, very happy with this ski. You can tell it's been running because I got a little bit of a little bit of soot on the ground there. Uh, yeah, but I pulled the MPEM. We're gonna send this to uh, 
Jarman Power Sports. He's going to go ahead and take care of, like I said, the programming. Two keys. Uh, a desk post is going to send that as well. And then, um, yeah, we're going to go from there. Hopefully that will fix the issues. And we shouldn't have any more issues with keys. Because, yeah, this was extremely dirty when I pulled it out. So I want to make sure that I wasn't sending him a piece of crap. The inside of it looks great. It looks brand freaking new. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, that, that box in the back, we checked all that. It looks clean in there. It doesn't look like there's anything out of place or wrong. Um, so I, I imagine it's just the key. It's a super common problem. We'll just fix the, the common problem that's um, cheapest first, and then we'll go on to what's next. So we'll chase it down until we figure it out. You know, it's only so many things it can be. There's not a whole lot to these, and they're not the most expensive thing in the world. So, yeah, well... Thanks for tuning along on another video, and we will catch you on the next one. I'm uh, in the middle of editing a bunch of stuff for Club Milton and everybody racing, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for those coming up. Hopefully in the next day or two, I'll have a, a couple more videos up. So uh, thanks again for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.